Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the new Legend cards, which are Drew Brees and Larry Fitzgerald. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald is the one you pull out of packs, and Drew Brees is the one that you complete the collection. Once again, I'm going to say it, I really wish they would have done something like a future Hall of Famers uh, releases on Sunday, because I don't think, we, we don't get anything except solo challenges on Sunday, so I uh, kind of wish they would have done a future Hall of Famers uh, collection and player in pack on Sundays. And stuck with new legend, unless they're out, unless they didn't renew enough contracts and they're out. But I think we're missing some that I'm not like 100 percent sure they have the contract for, like Walter Payton. He hasn't been released. We have a Walter Payton card in the game, so we're obviously missing him. Um, probably missing more. I just can't think of them uh, that they've had forever, but. Yeah, we're obviously missing some, and so I kind of wish they would have done a future Hall of Famers set and uh, or collection or just release future Hall of Famer cards. But we can go over. We'll go over these. We'll go over the set first with the uh, Drew Brees. I don't know anybody who's going to pay a ridiculous amount for this Drew Brees, so he's probably decently cheap already. But we'll go hop into the long pass ground and pound. It gives 10k coins. Uh, an elite badge is needed. Good thing I didn't click. Uh, so his rookie card has him on the Chargers. That's pretty cool that they actually did that. Uh, knowing them, I didn't expect that, but they have him on the Chargers. So he's 85, uh, like always, and it's 200k pretty much for his rookie card. So I'll try to keep a tally in my head on how much they are. Uh, collectible 1 is 250, and it's the Super Bowl MVP. So we're up to 450k so far to do this collection. Uh, Drew Brees, number 2. Uh, it's going for 261, just to make it easier in math. We are at 700K, and that is for the fastest uh, 50K passing yards. Uh, next is the Pro Bowler, uh, Drew Brees. So we're at 700. This one's going for 130. And so that brings us up to 830K for the Drew Brees. And the Super Bowl champ collectible, the fourth one, going for... 400k, so we're at 830, so it's 1.23 mil plus the elite badge, which is 43k, so 1.27 mil to get Drew Brees day one. I wonder if anybody did it. We'll look on the auction block for him, but uh, that's just kind of the ballpark price for him. Obviously, you can get him cheaper. Uh, also, there are legend packs available right now, plus a bundle. You can buy three legendary packs in a bundle, which guarantees you one team of the year item, either a player or a collectible. And you get an Elite Legend. I'm not going to be pulling one. I thought about it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hold off and see what I might be able to pick up here um, when the actual Team of the Year content drops. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I thought about just buying it and keeping everything, but I'm just going to hold off, see what I can do. I got two million coins. I got some room. I got some wiggle room, so I'm not going to, you know, not going to force buy anything uh, or impulse buy something. Uh, but I will be covering the Team of the Year stuff in another video. But let's get this, let's check out and see if Easy Breezy is online. Or, not online, on the auction block. Let's see, 95 to 99. Okay, so there's one up, there's one up for 748k. He must have done, he must have had to pull those collectibles. Because, cause damn, Breeze is cheap compared to doing his collection. Uh, but he does have 100 throw accuracy short, and 73 speed, not terrible. I will have to say, not terrible. Uh, but 94 awareness, 95 throw power, 100 throw accuracy short, 97 throw accuracy mid, 90 throw accuracy deep. Uh, uh, that kind of ruins the card for me. I kind of want my cards to be able to throw the ball deep, even though, because, like, like, we got Brady with a 94. Like Matt Ryan, this 89 Matt Ryan has 90 throw accuracy deep. The Vic only has 88, but his throw power is a lot better. But let's let's be real here. 90 for a 97 overall card? That seems weak to me. It just seems a little bit weak, but uh, let's see. Let's have to type in fits. Fits. And he is currently 1 mil, which is actually not bad. He's actually coming down. I might have to pick this card up eventually because I like Fitz. 94 speed. Hey, not awful. 94 speed is not terrible. Uh, 92 awareness, 98 catching, 99 spec catch, 95 release, 
92 route running and 97 catch and traffic. Uh, pretty good card. I like the look of these playoff legends. I will have to say that. They're not terrible looking. Uh, and so this switch is actually pretty good. Uh, and since he's not like a huge speed burner, you probably won't go for that much. Fitzes never go for that much. But if you think about it, I burn people with these three. With Megatron, Antonio Brown, and Dez. And they're all at 95 or 94 speed. So uh, I could actually do some serious work at this point in Mutt with this Fitzgerald, but I'm not paying one mil for a wide receiver. Uh, those three cards I had cost probably, I think they cost around one mil added up. Maybe, no, about less, probably like eight, 900k, depending on what Megatron fell to. I know Dez goes between 350 and 400, but... Those are the new Legend cards. Let me know what you guys think of them. I'm a little disappointed they didn't release uh, Walter Payton. They need to get him in the game. Uh, we need more corners. We need to get some more Legend corners out because we only have two. Rod Woodson and uh, Dick Lane. We also need... If they didn't sign a contract again with Brian Dawkins, uh, Sean Taylor, Randy Moss, or... See, I'm forgetting one of them. Well, I forget one of them. But if they don't, if they didn't resign with any of those players, that's just crazy. Because Sean Taylor was really popular last year. Brian Dawkins was popular last year. Uh, Randy Moss is always popular uh, when he gets a really good card. Uh, one because he's Randy Moss, everybody likes Randy, and because he's got that speed, and uh, he's just crazy. But if they didn't sign a, con they didn't have to have a contract with Moss. Because he didn't technically retire till last year. So there's probably a pretty good chance we're not getting Moss. But there shouldn't be a problem with Dawkins or Taylor. I don't think. I don't know why they wouldn't want to be in the game. And I don't know why they don't just pay some of these players like Chad Johnson, uh, Brian Westbrook. Uh, Donovan McNabb, some of these guys that, you know, aren't the, like the big, they're not like superstar legends, but you could probably get them for cheap-ish. I mean, like, Chad, why wouldn't Chad Johnson want to be in Madden? Like, what else is he, why wouldn't he take like, like 20k to be in Madden? I don't know why, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me, I don't know. They, they, I'd rather have them have a bunch of recent players, um then have, you know, a bunch of legends and, and not have that many legends. But that's just my opinion. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.